Hey, what's up? This is Brian Pfeiffer with ExploringLasVegas.com. And I'm standing here today in front of the Caesars Palace, and in my background there, you kind of see it over, actually over there, that is Caesars Palace. And then behind me, directly behind me, it's kind of hard to see, but it's Omnia Nightclub, okay? And this video here is going to be about uh, the EDM clubs in Las Vegas. I get asked this question all the time, what are the best EDM clubs in Vegas? You know, so I'm going to make a nice video here to kind of explain to you what the best EDM nightclubs are and the best EDM pool. Okay, this video is going to be all about that. If you click on the link below, I'm going to have a write-up and uh, ways to get on the guest list, get tickets, get tables, packages, etc. All on the link below, so make sure you check that out. All right, so let's talk about the best EDM nightclubs. My first pick here is uh, Omnia, and hence why I'm standing here at the Caesars to kind of highlight this club. The reason I picked it as number one at EDM club because the club is magnificent. Okay, it's magnificent inside. The uh, interior is probably the best club in the whole world. Uh, they got this crazy chandelier thing that comes down, and uh, the, the layout is just fantastic. Fantastic. They got amazing tables on the main floor, balcony tables. They got a couple sky boxes that overlook the DJ. The DJ is kind of right in the, you know, kind of on the north end, but in the center of the building, and it's pretty, pretty dope. The setup's awesome. Um, the club is just well done. You can just tell that they put a sh bunch of money into it, and it's awesome. They have big DJs like uh, Steve Aoki here, uh, Martin Garrix, um, Alesso is one of their residents. So those are their, their big hitters. I'm not sure their full lineup for 2023, but they will have a. Um, solid lineup. I know they did lose Cascade to one of the other clubs here in the top three, but um, I'm sure they're going to come back with somebody big to replace him. All right, so let's talk about number two on my list here is Zook Nightclub, and the reason I put Zook at number two is because they did a magnificent job of bringing in some good talent. Obviously, they got Zed, they got Dead Mouse, they got DJ Snake, Tiesto, um, I think they just signed Jack Harlow, um, they got uh, Galantis as one of theirs, I know they're doing Nervo. They, they, they did a really good job recruiting talent for a new club with just uh, one club and one pool instead of you know, some of the other groups that have multiple venues. Um, and uh, they, they did a real good job with the layout as well. It's a cool club with amazing sound and lighting and uh, definitely something to uh, check out here if you're coming to Las Vegas and Soup Nightclub, uh, number two on my list. So don't miss out on that. Number three on my list is gonna be uh, the old standby here for I think the last 12 years plus Excess Nightclub at the Win. And uh, they have some good talent as well. Chainsmokers is uh, probably their biggest hitter. They also have like Diplo, um, you know, R.L. Grime, they have Dylan Francis. Um, they also have some uh, other big hitters like Kygo and David Guetta that come around in certain times of the year when they're not in a visa and whatnot. And you can't really go wrong with Excess at the Win. The Win's the highest end hotel on the strip as far as my opinion goes. And uh, there's always a good crowd and nice people in there. And uh, definitely number three on my list. You could take any of the top three and put them as number one. So just keep that in mind. Not one of those clubs is better than the other. They're all very good and really well done and with good DJs and good crowds. And you really can't go wrong picking one of those three. If that's going to be one night of your EDM club, just pick one of those three, roll the dice, figure out which DJ you want to see the most and go to that one. Okay. Now we're going to go down uh, the rest of the list here. There's four other clubs that I want to mention that do EDM. Um, they're not as good as the top three. Okay. They're, they're not the top tier anymore. Um, well, potentially they might be, but we don't know yet with the, the number four on my list, and that's going to be a live nightclub. Okay, the Fountain Blues finally getting redone after like 15 years of sitting there dormant, and uh, they're going to do the uh, live nightclub that they have in Miami in the Fountain Blue here. It's going to be the live nightclub Las Vegas. Now, um, Zook, when they came along, they did a really good job of bringing in talent. They got Tiesto, Zed right off the bat, DJ Snake. Uh, they ended up getting Dead Mouse later. Um, Zook's, I mean, in order for Live to be successful out here in Vegas, they're going to have to do something similar. Okay, they're going to have to be, you know, recruit some of these big DJs, pay them a ton of money, and uh, they're going to have to have a good lineup in order to be successful against all these other venues, okay? Because these other venues just aren't going to roll over. All right, so I'm putting Live on number four on my EDM club list. I don't know much about it yet. I don't know who their DJs are going to be. It's going to open up sometime in 2023, I think. Uh, but I put that as number four because I have a feeling they're going to do something pretty big over there, and they're going to bring in some decent talent and uh, be a big player in the, uh, in, the, in the EDM club scene. Number five on the list is Hakkasan. Okay, the reason I'm in Vegas is because of Hakkasan. I was actually brought out here to help open Hakkasan. I was a promotion manager for Hakkasan in Wet Republic the first year I lived out here in 2013. And uh, so that club's kind of dear to my heart. Uh, it's not kind of as hot as it used to be. It's now, uh, you know, 10 years I've been out here in Vegas, so it's now a 10-year-old club. And, uh, you know, compared to the other, the big three and possibly live on number four, it is, you know, number five on my list. It's still a big club feel. They redid the grid in there. It's pretty pretty dope. And they do bring in some good talent. I only got, like, Steve Aoki coming up here, and uh, they bring in Alesso. And uh, for a while they had Cascade. I think they just lost him. But, uh, you know, they, they do pretty good. I mean, they, they are doing a hip-hop night there on Fridays, but the Thursday and Sunday, or Thursday and Saturday party are, are now uh, 
EDM. They used to do a Sunday party as well, but they cut that out um, prior to COVID. Uh, that was actually during COVID, they cut that out and they haven't brought it back. So um, Hakusan is number five on the list. Uh, definitely worth checking out. Still good DJs, depending on if you like the artist over there. It's still a nice club. Well done, and it's a good party over there. Uh, number six on my list, that is going to be Marquee Day Cl or Marquee Nightclub. <laughs> Marquee Nightclub is a nightclub. And uh, they are still holding their own because one of the main reasons is it's a towel group and they have good talent and they know how to promote and they know how to you know put good hosts in place and keep the club going. It's not super huge of a club when they just do the main club inside. When they open it up and do the pool area at night too, that makes it a little bit bigger. They've kind of cut out the days when they used to have the main club open, the pool open, and the boom box, which is on the lower level and the library, used to all be open in the same night. They don't have that kind of crowd anymore. They're not booking that kind of big DJs. This year, some notable shows I saw over there. I saw Alan Walker. I enjoyed that show. Um, they do bring in, um, you know, I think they did have Cascade one night. And uh, they do a hip-hop night occasionally with DJ Mustard. But most of the time, they're EDM. They bring, like, Chris Lake in, Cedric Gervais. Those are some of the artists. Kind of kind of like your mid-tier EDM guys. It's still a pretty good club. It's well done. It's got a great sound system. And it's, you know, reasonably priced nowadays. Okay, you can get a good table there for, you know, $1,500 bucks for a third tier, two k for an upper dance floor, maybe three k for a dance floor. So not bad. Uh, for Marquee, number six on my list. Definitely worth checking out if you like the artist. Uh, it's in the Cosmopolitan. It's a great hotel. It's always busy. So, uh, And then number seven on my list of nightclubs to kind of complete the list of EDM nightclubs out here is going to be your Encore Beach at night. It is kind of a unicorn. Uh, they do bring in some kind of mid-level talent like Angie V. Occasionally, your Arl Grimes over there, Dylan Francis. And they bring in some uh, you know, trap house guys. Typically, it's kind of going to be a mix of trap house and EDM. But it is a night swim in the summer months, which is kind of cool. So it's kind of a unicorn. On a Friday and Saturday, it's the only place you can go and get a nighttime pool party. Okay, so uh, Encore Beach will make number seven on my list. We have some bottle packages and whatnot if you guys want to check it out. It's a little more reasonably priced than some of the other places. And um, it's still a good party. You know, it's a little bit different um, you know, vibe with the, you know, everybody in swim tire and people in the pool and whatnot. But it's, it's definitely cool. So let's talk about the pools and the EDM pools in Las Vegas and uh, why you might uh, want to check out those. Uh, if you're into EDM, you know, there is uh, you know, several different companies that own the venues out here. Tau Group's one of them. There's Wind Light Life and then the Zoo Group, okay? So um, the first one on my list, it's kind of the old standby here, is going to be Encore Beach Club. And that is run by the Wind Nightlife, okay? They got Access and Encore, Encore Beach at Night. Kind of run three venues, if you will, even though Encore Beach is the same venue back to back. Uh, they used to have a venue back in the day called Trist, and then it was Intrigue, but that's closed now. So um, Encore Beach Club is solid. They're going to have your David Guetta. You're going to have your Kygo, the Chainsmokers, Diplo, Major Lazer, um, you know, some of their big hitters, okay? They pretty much always have a big hitter on Friday or Saturday, Sunday. Fridays are kind of a mid-level person, but uh, it is definitely an old standby here in Las Vegas. You can't really go wrong with Encore on Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. Um, let's talk about number two on my list, and that is on one that's near and dear to my heart again is Wet Republic. Okay, Wet Republic is. Um, a Tau Group venue, and you're going to find the you know the Tau Group artists, the cast, or uh, Martin Garrix, the uh, um, you know you, you got who else over there? Alesso, uh, Steve Aoki, uh, some of the bigger hitters. Uh, it, it's definitely a great pool party. They always you know seem to come out every year with some new stuff. They you know, put pools in front of the Cabanas a couple years ago, and uh, new LEDs. It's it's well done. Sound system's great. It's a big pool. Um, the bungalows are amazing. Customers really like those, so you can't really go wrong with Wet Republic. Um, always been a solid staple for me. For last 14 years. Um, I was actually doing the promotions for Wet Republic back when it was new, and I used to promote to Chicago people. And the Chicago people would uh, come out here and you know go to Wet Republic a lot. They'd always count me and take care of me. So it was definitely um, you know definitely a, a good pool for that many years, and it's still going strong. You can't really go wrong. Fridays are busy, Saturdays are busy, Sundays are busy. Uh, Thursdays and Mondays are kind of just more of a chill day, but they are open. Okay. Uh, number three on my list is going to be Tau Beach. Okay, Tau Beach was redone last year. It was actually my number one pool uh, last year, and, and we did really good over there. Uh, they do have a big hitter like Alesso. It's kind of their main DJs on, on Saturday. They bring in Chris Lake and um, and I think they had Martin Garrix there once. I don't think he was actually a headliner. He just showed up and played with uh, um, one of the other guys. But, you know, they do have mostly EDM on uh, Saturdays, okay? And then Sundays are going to be more like a hip-hop party. They got Sophie Tucker, uh, another one of their DJs. And uh, it, it gets pretty rocky, okay? Top Beach is a great vibe. They did a nice job with the remodel. I, I enjoyed the place. I had a really good year there last year. That was my number one pool. Um, although, do I think it's going to be as good as Encore Beach going forward and Wet Republic? Um, I don't think so. I think it's going to be number three on the list because it's, um, you know, it's Tau Beach now a year now a year old. It's not new anymore. It's you know last year was a new year, and now they're going to be competing with Encore and White Republic, which are your staples for EDM. And yeah, so I would definitely check out uh, you know Tau Beach as well. It's it's, good, it's a good vibe in there. The way they laid it out is very well. Uh, they got nice cabanas with pools in front of them. Uh, the pool's a little bit small, but you know it's compact and they keep the party in there really solid. It's got a nice vibe. Okay. 
So that would probably be uh, number three on my list. Let's talk about number four on my list, and that's going to be IU Day Club. Okay, I'm curious to see what IU comes out with this year. I know it's under construction; they're doing some work to it. Uh, you know, you're going to have your big hitters like Jack Harlow, uh, Tiesto, Zed over there. I think they all got like long year contracts. Uh, Dead Mouse maybe at the pool. We'll see. Um, we got DJ Snake. I'm sure he'll be making some appearances. Guys like Galanis uh, will probably make some appearances. So I'm, I'm guessing the AU is going to be a player this year because they're going to be doing some remodeling over there. Uh, that's going to be a solid ED cl EDM club. Maybe even move up on my list at some point. On the bigger days when, you know, Tiesto and Zed there, it's probably going to be more like the number one or number two pool party. Okay, so we'll have to see what they kind of come up with for the, uh, you know, the new layout. I know they're doing some construction between Zook and IU, so we'll see what happens over there. But um, you can count on that place being pretty solid this year uh, for an EDM pool party. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're going to do Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And I'm going to guess they're going to be a little more competitive now on Fridays and Saturdays since they just signed some more DJs and they might be bringing in some talent um, all three days. The number uh, uh, five on my list, let's talk about uh, Marquee Day Club. Okay, Marquee Day Club is um, still a uh, you know really solid pool uh, at the Cosmo. It's got the best bungalows in, or the Grand Cabanas in the city. They got the pools in front of them. It's the only cabanas really in the city, Grand Cabanas, that have your own private pool. Okay, there's like I think 11 or 12 of them, and they're awesome. Okay, customers love those. They always go for a premium on Saturdays. Uh, you can get a pretty reasonable on Fridays and uh, Sundays, but uh, they always pretty much do EDM over there. They rarely bring in a hip-hop guy like DJ Mustard, so check the schedule, but uh, that'll be a very rare event. It's almost always EDM. Mid-level guys, your Chris Lakes, okay, Sophie Tucker will be over there. Holly D is one of their residents. That's going to be more of an open, open format day. But the place is always pretty solid. It's, it's a smaller boutique-style pool, uh, but the um, you know the venue is really good. It's at the Cosmopolitan. They got great setup for table service and whatnot, and it's a you know strong EDM pool party for the most part. Uh, generally, I think they're open um, Thursdays through uh, through Sundays. Okay, and at one time they were doing seven days a week, but I think they're just doing the Thursdays through Sundays these days. And then finally on my list of EDM pool parties, um, we're kind of getting down to the tail end here. And I'm not even sure if uh, this place is going to be open this year, but that was the Elia Beach Club. Okay, they were trying to compete with uh, all the big hitters uh, the last couple years and sort of failed. <laughs> so I'm not even sure if they're going to be reopening. I know the management team uh, has left and they've gone over to, uh, I don't know if they've gone anywhere actually. They, they, they're not there anymore. I know they pulled out right after Labor Day weekend. This year they closed after Labor Day, which was kind of a shocker since September is usually a pretty good month. And uh, they basically closed the place and I don't know if it's going to so uh, we'll have to wait and see and see if somebody comes in and does management on that. Uh, another place that has a really good pool that was popular you know, several years ago before COVID was uh, um, the Chaos Nightclub. Uh, Chaos Pool, actually. They have a really cool pool there with a bunch of bungalows and cabanas with pools in front of them. Really great layout, and I don't know if they're going to do anything with that or not. We'll have to see. Um, you know, if somebody comes in and takes that over, it might be the EDM pool party. It might not be. We'll see. Um, and I, I'm going to guess that the Fountain Blue, they're probably going to do something with a pool party as well. I know they got Strawberry Moon over the Fountain Blue in the in Miami. Maybe they're going to do a Strawberry Moon or something over at the Fountain Blue, but you can count on them doing something at the Fountain Blue probably later in the year here, and I'm going to guess that's going to be EDM at least on Fridays and Saturdays, so we'll see. There's also one other wild card I want to mention. The new hotel is going to be opening up on the end of the strip called the Dream Hotel, and uh, they apparently are going to have a day club there, so I don't know what it's going to be. EDM, hip-hop, a little bit of both, Latin, who knows. But uh, that could be another little wild card that could be thrown into the mix uh, there. So the, the last three there, you know, I don't know what they're going to be, but you know, keep them on the radar. If you're coming out here later in the year next year, uh, when that Dream Hotel opens and the Fountain Blue opens, maybe you want to keep an eye out who's uh, you know playing at the whatever pools they day clubs are going to be called. I don't even know. It's, it's too early in the year here to, to tell. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed my video. I do have a lot of uh, packages and uh, bottle service, etc. You know, I can even do VIP entries at the nightclubs and pools for the EDM stuff. We do dinners, limos, um, you know, men's shows. We do strip clubs. We can mix it all up and make a great package for you. Um, obviously, we would like to book your whole weekend if we can. Uh, if you have any questions, make sure you hit me up, 773-459-8133. That's my cell. And then if you... Um, would like this video i'd really appreciate it make sure you subscribe for this uh for more for this channel and bang that notifications bell i'm brian pfeiffer signing out from the uh front of omnia nightclub over here at the caesars uh, about the best edm clubs and pools in las vegas talk to you soon bye